Qatar exempts nationals and residents of the GCC and the EU from the ETRAS registration. Qatar has announced an exemption from the online registration for the GCC nationals, GCC residents, UK nationals, UK residences, EU nationals and EU residences from the ETRAS registration. What does it mean? For all nationals coming from this country who meet the criteria or who meet what we call the humidity criteria will be allowed into entry into Qatar as the as part of the latest uh, uh, latest updates that we have around. What does it mean? That as per the ETRAS website where travelers arriving in Qatar uh, have to pre-register before entering Qatar these nationals from these countries will be exempted from the online registration. Remember, for all residences and travelers coming into Qatar before, they are supposed to pre register with the, uh, the ETRAS website or online registration prior to entering Qatar. But as at now, they are, as per the latest updates that we have, it means that all nationals that are coming from UK, residents of UK, uh, nationals of UAE, and residents of EU, then also residents of GCC, then also we, uh, we talk about uh, the nationals of GCC, they will be exempted from this online registration that has been taking place, provided, provided that these residents or these travelers meet what we call the humanity criteria for entry into the country. What does the humanity criteria for entry means? That they must be fully vaccinated and they must have those applications, the COVID-19 applications from their country, which monitor the status from their country. Uh, no matter where they're coming from, but they should be fully vaccinated with those apps that monitor the COVID vaccinations from their different or their respective countries. As per the ministry, what say the criteria for COVID health apps will be used in any of the GCC countries shall be honored, meaning that the ETRAS app that is used in Bahrain, the ETRAS app that is used in Saudi Arabia, the ETRAS app that is used in Qatar, this ETRAS app that is used in UK, the ETRAS app that is used in by the UAE races, and the ETRAS app that will be used by that is used by people from Oman, provided it 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 meets what we call the healthy criteria or the healthy standard, then it will be accepted to be used in Qatar. Hope I'm right. So if you are coming from Saudi Arabia, if you are coming from Oman, if you are coming from Kuwait, if you are coming from UK, if you are coming from uh, any of the EU countries, provided you have that application, which shows the vaccination status, or which shows the, vac which shows the COVID-19 vaccination status, then you'll be allowed or oh, you no longer need to pre-register on the ETRAS website as you are planning to travel or you are planning to enter into Qatar. That is the latest updates that we have around. Remember, still further for you to note that if you have that app and it is of the health immunity criteria that is needed. What is the health uh, immunity criteria? You must be fully vaccinated and it must be follow the standard of your country of origin or it must be uh, follow the standard that are being required. So what does it mean? That for you, you will not need to register on online. You don't need to do what you call a pre-online registration before entering Qatar. However, what you will need to do on the point of arrival in the 24 hours, what you will need to do is you will take what you call a rapid antigen test to test. That rap rapid antigen test must be taken in the 24 hours prior to arrival in the country. That is what the, can that is what the ministry requires of you only. And after you prove to be negative, then probably you have to pro proceed to your final destination or for your final journey where you are going. That is the latest update that we have. Remember, 
when we are talking about when we are talking about this ethros app it sh it should be it should be it should be considered or it should be noted in one way or the other that these countries shall be honored or accepted in Qatar and shall be exempted from online registration and required to proceed to any authorized private clinics for what you call an rapid antigen test within 24 hours of arrival when we are or, or, uh, 24 hours on arrival and uh, it means that if you are coming from Saudi Arabia and you are using what you call Tawakana, that is an, uh, that is the uh, application app for COVID-19. Uh, if you are in UAE, you are using Halzani, that is uh, an application uh, uh, app that is being used in the UAE. If you are use, if you are coming from the Bahrain and you are using Pawaya Bahrain, that is an application app from the Abba Bahrain. And if you are from Kuwait and using Slunko, that is from uh, Kuwait. Then, if you are coming from Oman and using uh, Torusin uh, from Oman, then and if you are coming from the UK and you are using what you call NHC uh, COVID pass, and if you are coming from the uh, from the U uh, that is from the EU and you are using to what you call the COVID pass healthy app, then probably all of you you will be accepted to come into the country and you will not require what we call the online registration prior to coming into the country. However, uh, still something that I need to stress or something that you need to stress uh, as per, 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 per the ministry, on arrival or, or you on arrival, you probably need to take what we call an antigen test uh, within the 24 hours to prove or if you're negative, then probably you can proceed to your destination. I'll just get through what the ministry actually stressed and what was the real message from the ministry. Qatar has announced an exemption from the online registration for the GCC nationals, GCC residences, EU nationals, EU residences, UK nationals and UK residences who meet the immunity criteria for entry into the country. As per the Ethelas website where the travelers arriving in Qatar have to register uh, it's mentioned that the GCC nationals and the GCC residents who meet the humanity criteria, uh, in that case, the COVID healthy app used in any of the GCC countries shall be honored and accepted in Qatar and shall be exempted from what we call the online registration and required to proceed to any authorized private clinic for a rapid antigen test within the 24 hours on their arrival in Qatar. For the Saudi Arabia, I mentioned about the app. So meaning that for the citizens and the residents of the United Kingdoms can use what we call the NHC, uh, H COVID pass, and for the nationals and residents coming from um, coming from uh, the uh, EU, then probably you can use what we call the COVID pass. It's all accepted. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider supporting this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will always update you wherever we upload the latest update and the latest information or video on this channel. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Mix from the Mix Creation, giving you all the updates around the Gulf countries, all updates of travel, all updates regarding jobs and all opportunities around the Gulf. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.